I used to watch these favorites videos all the time when I was younger because I was low-key a little bit nosy but also I really wanted to know what the best products were so in today's video I'm bringing that back and I'm sharing with you guys all of my current favorites so let's get into it starting with clothing I have a few things I want to show you the first thing is this big hoodie that I got when I was in Korea it is from Urban Type I always gravitate towards it it has this green embroidery on the front it has a little tag on the bottom on the back it says urban type next up is a shirt it's this realization part baby tee i showed this in my previous video and when i tell you guys that i wear this like almost every single day when it's not dirty I'm not joking. It's something about the cut that makes it so comfortable to wear. I don't know. I'm low-key obsessed and I want to get every single shirt that they have. One of my other favorites from Realization Par that I also got in my previous vlog, the Realization Par the Live Dress. It's a little vintage looking, which I kind of like. And it's also a pattern that doesn't really get out of style. It's not very trendy or anything. The bottom also has this kind of layered detail. And then the last clothing item is this suit set from Naked. You can take one piece and match it with other pieces. So eventually you can create so many different outfit options, which is really, really nice as a college student. It has this really nice brown color with very thin stripes. On to accessories. I'm gonna start off with these shoes. These are the New Balance 550s in green. I I am obsessed. I've been wearing these for a full year, hence why they're a little dirty. So they're very comfortable. A little hot in summer though. The color is stunning. I love green. If you don't know me, if you've never seen my videos, I love green. A lot of the things that I'm showing you, you've probably already seen in a bunch of my videos, such as the next item, which is the Essentials Whip Bag from Carthart. It has five pockets, a really big front pocket, thinner back pocket. I've actually done a what's in my bag, so if you're interested in that you can watch it in the corner my last accessory that i want to share with you guys is this ring that i'm wearing it's from annalisa it's actually a collaboration with michelle a youtuber that i really like to watch i don't know what it is about this ring but i've been wearing it every single day you can click on any of my videos and like 99 percent of the time i will be wearing this ring before we get into the entertainment things i want to share some skincare and makeup products first thing is this toner it's by pyun kang yul i hope that i pronounced that right it's a toner that is very very kind to your skin i don't know if you ever tried a normal toner but there's usually like a lot of alcohol in it which it makes your face turn like completely red and dry and irritated this toner doesn't have any alcohol in it which is Great. Also, if you're someone like me who has a lot of acne, you don't want to use any products that will make your skin even worse. Next up are two products from The Ordinary. The first thing is this peeling solution. What a peeler does is it removes dead skin cells from your face. Why I really like this is because it's a chemical peel. A lot of the peelers that you can use are not so good for your skin and it almost feels like you're putting sand on your face and it really rips your skin apart. I like this one. It's a chemical peel which you use once or twice a week and what you do is you put it on your face, you leave it on for 10 minutes and then you wash it off. And then the last product is the Niacinamide 10% plus 1% zinc. It's a serum that can get rid of a lot of redness in your face and you just apply a few drops in the morning and the night. The last skincare product is this moisturizer by Clinique. I've used this moisturizer for yeah, probably four years now. A lot of moisturizers are either too thick so they leave your face like very greasy and oily. It's very thin and almost kind of like jelly but when you put it on your face it dries out so it doesn't leave your face greasy. Now we're finally at entertainment and we're starting off with my favorite product. It's the Sony headphones. These are noise cancelling headphones. If you're someone like me and you hate noise and you don't have these already, I don't know what to tell you. So if you're working uh, on campus in college and you have to get some noise cancelling headphones, why I love these is when you put it on and someone comes up to talk to you, you can put your hand right here and it will stop the music and stop the noise cancelling from happening. So you can actually hear someone talk. A lot of the times you just don't have the time to take your headphones off or put your music on pause. It's so easy to just 
like put your hand onto the right side of the headphones and it will stop the noise canceling and lower your music. This right here on the right side is kind of like a touch pad. If you want your music to be louder, you go like this. If you want the next song to play, you go like this. If someone comes up to talk to you, you just go like this. If there's one thing you should buy for my entire favorites video, yeah, it's this. It also comes with a really nice case, which is also flat, which is great to put in your backpack for college or if you're traveling. Moving on. <laughs> okay, listen. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Another person recommending me a fucking iPad. Yeah, this is the iPad Air 4th generation. I've had it for one year and a half now and I don't know what I would do without it. I use it for school to take notes. I use it to make my thumbnails for YouTube. I read books on it using the books app from Apple Store. You can do digital drawing. I... <laughs> Listen, I know I'm an, just another person recommending you an iPad, but... Yeah, film cameras have been pretty trendy for two to three years now and I get it, the picture is like really really nice but developing film or even buying a film camera is pretty fucking expensive so eventually I found this app called Dazcam it's an app that has a lot of these really old vintage film looking filters my favorite one is the CPM35 filter I love it, I've taken so many photos with it, it looks so good good and it looks pretty real as well so i really want to recommend you this app which is not sponsored nothing in this video is sponsored you guys okay before we move on to books and stationery i want to share with you a hobby that i've been in love with and it is knitting and crocheting now i know what you're thinking that's for literal grandmas but it's actually really nice so if there's anyone interested in knitting i really recommend this knitting kit by knit pro is this little purse almost with pretty much every type knitting needle that you would ever need it ranges from 3.5 millimeters to 12 millimeters so it comes with the knitting needles and then it also comes with a bunch of different length wires because this is a knitting set where you can knit in the round which is really really nice for sweaters and stuff but besides that it also comes with a bunch of other little things that you can use with knitting which I won't go into too much detail with why I love knitting so much is because one you go off of your phone which is always nice but it's so healing to be solely focused on making something not being on your phone not doing anything I just really like doing something where I don't have to think too much. I also want to recommend a YouTuber who does a lot of like knitting projects, crochet projects, room makeovers, sewing dresses. I want to recommend to you Jenna Phipps on YouTube, which is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love every single video that she makes and she's really like the person that got me into knitting and I really, really enjoy it. Actually, let me show you if you've never been on my channel before. I'm currently making this one shoulder crop top. There you go. That's some inspiration for you guys. Now moving on to books and stationery. The first two things that I want to recommend are these Moleskine product. One is a planner. I love this one. I don't have too much to say about this. I just really love the quality of this. It's very sturdy. I really like the paper. You can't really tell but it's a little bit of a muted yellow. It's not very white which I don't like so yeah. On the back it also has a little sleeve pocket and it comes with stickers as well. And then next up is their journal. I don't really know what this is called. I guess it's like a bullet journal. It has little dots but I use this as my journal to write about my feelings or anything. Again the paper is a pretty muted yellow and of course it also has that same sleeve pocket I guess. The next thing that I want to recommend to you guys is something maybe a little weird but it is to annotate your books. I've been annotating my books for a few months now and so pretty much what I do is I underline a few quotes if I like a quote or I just write down about my current thoughts while reading a sentence of the book. If you need some more inspiration on how to annotate your books I really recommend 
this Instagram user right here. So what I use to annotate is first off, I use a Muji pen. I have tried so many pens, but the Muji 0.5 pen is definitely my favorite. What I also use to annotate are these squared sticky notes. You can write down your thoughts and then just stick it in the journal. And then lastly, I use some sticky tabs. These are not the ones that I usually use. They're much cuter, but I lost them. I just stick them right on and then I know exactly where to be. Okay, so now that I've told you about annotating books, I actually want to share with you one book <laughs> that I liked uh, this year. And people are probably going to destroy me for my choice, which is totally fine. I do not care. It is, they both die at the end. Listen, I know what you're thinking. A young adult book, are you kidding me? Seriously? But no writer has ever grabbed my attention and kept it. I'm not a person like that. I think I finished it in a few days. I usually take about like three months to finish one book. It's about two boys that get a text message that they're about to die in 24 hours. So eventually they meet up and they spend their last day together. I really liked it and I'm probably gonna reread it next year. Next up for entertainment is a Netflix show. It is called My Name. It's a K-drama about a girl whose father gets killed and eventually she wants to find out who killed her father and kill that person. It is the best series I've ever watched in my entire life and I probably rewatched it two or three times now. I feel like a lot of people would like even though you're not into K-drama. You should really watch that. And lastly, we have music. I'm going to put two playlists down in the description. They're called Reinventing Myself and Munchies Faves. All of my favorite songs are on there. And then I also want to share some, some other artists that I found out about. Wave to Earth, amazing music. Music. My favorite song from them is Seasons. So beautiful. Then we have Fujikaze, Hojin. I love those artists. I've never talked this much in my life. So yeah, that was literally everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video.